Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm really excited about today's video because this topic is something that I get asked all the time on my Snapchat, on my Instagram. People always wanna know what it is that I do to take care of my skin. I really love masking because there is so many different ones out there that target and do different things. So you can really find something that is gonna work for you for what it is that you need it for. It's really interesting because a lot of people ask me what my biggest skincare tip or secret is and it literally is masking. I love to mask, I think everyone should mask. I probably mask every other day or if there's a lot going on, events and things like that, then I try to do it on a daily basis. Masking and hydration has just been so important to me just to kind of make sure that my skin is just looking good, especially with being on camera, it's just something that is so crucial to me. And I thought I would share with you guys my favorite masks. And I pull different ones that do different things. I have like a clay mask, I have a peel off mask, overnight masks, some more bougier masks, some more kind of like more affordable masks, sheet mask, lip mask, iPads. So if you guys wanna know what my go-to masks are, keep on watching. The first mask that I'm gonna start off with is from this brand called Cosmetics. This is their activated charcoal mask. This is a detox mask, which you would normally do at nighttime. That's when I like to do these types of masks. It says here, detoxify your skin with magnet-like charcoal and absorbent clay to draw out impurities and nexus oil and cleanse away pollutants and congested pores for a visibly brighter, more radiant complexion. So in a nutshell, what this is gonna do for your skin, it's gonna really help clear out all of those impurities that are stuck in your pores. If you really think about all of the pollution in the air, just being out in regular life can be harmful to your skin, just with everything that's in the air. Um, with applying makeup, you're kind of clogging your pores. So this is a really, really great way to really kind of suck all of that nastiness in the skin out, and it just really helps to clear the skin. You wanna start off with clean skin. I washed my face, but I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a makeup wipe just to make sure that there is nothing on my skin. We're gonna take a generous amount on our fingertips, just like this. All you do is you just kind of rub it on your fingers and then you just apply it on your skin. You just massage it onto the skin. A lot of detox masks are kind of grainy. This one in particular, the grain is really, really subtle. Like it, you can't really feel it. I like to make sure that I get it all on the tip of my nose, around my nose, cause that's where I tend to feel like I get the most congestion, my nose and my cheeks. So I like to make sure that those areas are fully taken care of. Once I have it on, I let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we rinse it off. What I like to do to remove my masks is I like to just kind of take a cloth, uh, kind of get a little damp, throw her in the microwave. Um, I just love the way that it feels. I, I kind of just love the way that it just kind of melts the mask off as I'm you know, removing it. Make sure that it's not too hot though because you don't want to burn yourself. Low key I do it also because it's kind of bouge and it kind of just makes me feel like I'm at the spa. You could also infuse it with some lavender oil if you want to be extra bouge and really give like your girlfriends like that spa experience. This is probably something I would do for like my friends when they come over and we like mask together. All right, so I'm just going to remove her. Yes. With applying this mask, I normally do a little bit of a thicker layer. It just kind of depends on you, what you want to do. After removing the mask, I definitely feel like my skin looks brighter. It feels really, really nice and smooth. It definitely does feel tight and a little bit dry. So you definitely wanna go in with like your favorite serum, your favorite moisturizer. Something that I love to do after a detox mask, since it is a little bit more drying, I love to go in with the mask that I can leave on and even leave on overnight. Some of my favorites are this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. It has hyaluronic and citric acid. So what that does, it just really, really helps to deposit really, really nice deep hydration into your your pores. This also contains honey and ginger root and that just helps with your skin's radiance and you wake up with your skin feeling so plump and so juicy. Another little trick with this baby is if I'm gonna wear it during the day I wear a really 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 sheer sheer layer of it and it just gives my skin a really nice dewy finish and just really nice hydration for the day. I also love this Lancome serum after a dry mask like the one that I just used 
Serums are so great for your skin because they really, really penetrate into your pores. This one specifically is their Genifique Serum. So this is gonna help with like anti-aging. It's gonna help with the texture of your skin. It's gonna help to lift and firm and just give your skin such a beautiful radiant glow. Speaking of Lancome, one of my favorite sheet masks is actually made by them. This is the Genifique Youth Activating Second Skin Mask. Ever since I started to use this, I've been so obsessed. I love to throw this in my bag when I'm traveling so that I can do it like in my hotel. This is also really, really great to do before makeup if you just want like really, really nice smooth skin to work on. But above all, the best thing is it's infused with that serum. So this is gonna really help with penetrating into the pores and really allowing the skin to just kind of soak it all up like a sponge and it immediately kind of gives you plumper, more supple skin, and just long-term, if you use this consistently, your skin is gonna be snatched. So you open her up, just like this, and then you pull her out. She's a little tricky. I kind of had a, a, an interesting time, to say the least, the first time I used it, because it actually sits in like this netting, and I think that the reason why is because of the actual serum that it's infused with but you basically undo the netting, the mesh, looks like this. The mask is like this really awesome gel mask, like the entire mask has like that really rubbery kind of vibe and it's sitting in between the two mesh pieces. So you basically remove the first piece of mesh, just like this. Once you removed one side, then you apply it just like this. <laughs> This feels so cooling and so amazing. Do I look crazy? Then you can remove that second mesh. And then you just kind of adjust it. I always have a hard time with these masks when it comes to my lips, because they're a little extra juicy. So I always have to like just make it work, just make it work. I love the way that this mask feels on my skin. It literally does feel like the name. It feels like second skin on your skin. And you just press her and smooth her out. Make sure that all of those juices are just going on the skin. And you just leave this on for about 10 to 20 minutes. You just let your skin and your pores soak up all this goodness. And then your skin will be absolutely perfection. Disclosure, this mask, they actually sell them in packs of six for $105, and I know that that's a little pricey. The reason why is because one of these masks contains about half a bottle of the actual Genifique serum, so it's actually really, really great for you. Again, if you're looking for something that's like anti-aging, I've kind of had to let this simmer and soak on my skin, so I'm gonna remove this. Just gonna peel her off. Ooh. and then just kind of massage anything else that's just like left over. My skin, you guys, literally feels so supple, so plump, so amazing. It feels so good. I'm really such a huge fan of sheet masks. I think that they're so great for your skin and so fun. I wanted to share this subscription box that I found that's actually for sheet masks that I think is absolutely amazing. It's from this company called Facetree and you basically get sheet masks delivered to your door every single month. I know that they have different packages that you can subscribe to. I wanna say their less expensive one is like $5.95, that's where it starts. And then the one that I got includes seven, and I wanna say it's like $15.95. It ends up breaking down to about a couple of bucks per mask, which is so good. I will disclose that I got this for free. I did not pay for this but I love the concept behind it. And if you're a mask junkie like me, I think that this is super, super awesome. I love that they're all so different. This one's like water balance. This is like a water bomb. So I'm assuming it's like really, really deep hydration. This one is like a three step, which is super cool. And you just get to try so many different ones. This is a white flower celeb mask. I can't read this, but it just says it's pack time. I don't know. And look at how cool this is. It says, keep cool and let shine. Like, they're so cute. So if you're someone that is into masks like I am, they did send me a little card. And if you guys use my code, which is angel20, you guys get 20% off of this box. Again, this is in no way, shape, or form in any way 
sponsored at all. I just thought that this was so cool and this is something that I would a thousand percent buy into. So if you guys wanna check it out, check it out. If not, then <laughs> don't. Moving on, I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite peel off masks. Peel off masks are super, super popular because you are able to mask and have the benefits of masking without the mess, which is what I absolutely love about them. The one that I love is the Pure Cosmetics Blue Agave Mask. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys see me doing this mask pretty often. Uh, this is an energizing peel off mask. Disclosure, because I find that people either really, really, really love this mask or they really dislike it. I personally love it. The reason that I love it is the reason why some people don't like it. That's because it has like a tingling, cooling sensation. For me, it feels great. It feels nice and cooling. It doesn't feel overbearing, but I have received some feedback from some people that I've put it on saying that like it was a little too tingly for them or it just kind of felt almost like a little too stingy. Again, I think it just kind of depends on you and your skin. For me personally, I absolutely love it. I really like the fact that when you apply it, it's just really pretty like mermaidy, like opalescent kind of finish. So I just think it's a really interesting mask. It has blue agave extract, which is super, super hydrating for your skin. So this in general just really kind of like revitalizes your skin. It gives your skin a nice boost of energy and hydration, and it just makes you look super radiant. So this is one of my go-to peel off masks that I really love. Another mask that I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with Glam Glow in general, so I'm just gonna put that out there. But I am really, really loving this Flash Mud. This is the Brightening Treatment Mask. And the reason that I like this is because when you apply it, it has almost like a slight grain. And so as you're applying it onto your skin, it almost gives you like a light exfoliation. And then you just kind of let it set onto the skin. As far as skin types, this is great for anybody that has dry skin, oily skin, combination skin. This is a brightening mask, so this is great if you have sunspots, any unevenness to your skin, or if you just want your skin to look brighter. I really love doing this before an event. You can also use this a couple of times during the week if you kind of want to look at this as more of a treatment. However, if you are using anything that's like brightening to the skin, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to use an SPF during the day because if you don't, it can actually kind of work against you and you don't want to do that. So this is definitely my go-to brightening mask. It's so good. Another mask that I absolutely love is this Orbe Gold Envy Mask. I like this for a few different reasons. This is what I call like my bougie mask. If I'm having like girlfriends over it and I kind of want to have like a champagne moment and do something that's a little bit more bougie, if you know what I mean. It smells amazing. I'm gonna open it and show you guys. It literally smells, I'm a big fan of Orbe. I love all of their hair products. And if you love how their hair products smell, this mask literally smells like the hair products. It looks like this. You guys can see that I've used quite a lot of it. The smell alone though, I just wish I naturally smelled like this like every day. I would just be so happy. But it has a really nice kind of like gold shine to it. It is a mask that you do have to rinse off. It's not like a peel off or anything like that. But it just really helps to give your skin a really nice radiance and dewiness and glowiness. I like to use this a little bit more kind of like before makeup. So if I'm gonna go out or if I have like a date, which is like never, but um, if I'm gonna go somewhere, I like to pop this baby on before. And then my skin is super awesome and ready for my makeup. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of this on my skin so I can show you guys. I also really love that it's a nice sheer mask. It's not like a super thick mask. You definitely don't wanna apply a thick layer of this. Oh, it just literally smells so bomb. It smells expensive. I don't know if that makes sense. It smells very expensive. So again, this is like my bouge mask. Like I don't use this like on a daily basis. I would maybe do like inexpensive sheet masks like the one in the face tree box more on a daily basis. This is kind of more like special occasion mask, if you know what I mean. And then I'm just obsessed that it's gold. I love gold. The component is so beautiful. I just think it feels so luxe. I love the weight on it and it just really looks pretty like sitting on your vanity or I like to keep mine like on this marble table that I have in my bathroom and it just looks so pretty. It is a little bit more on the pricey side. It is $95, but it's so worth it. 
Again, it's not something that I would use like on a daily basis. This is definitely like my bougie special mask and it really helps with like giving your skin a really nice glow. It brightens your skin. It helps with the elasticity of the skin, the fine lines, the wrinkles. It really is a multitasking mask because it gives you all of those skincare and anti-aging benefits, but it also gives you that instant gratification with leaving your skin super glowy and prepared for your makeup. So I've left this mask on for about 15 minutes. I'm going to remove her. And I don't know if I told you guys, but it's actually infused with real specks of gold. After I do masks, I also love to do some sprays that just kind of help with the skin. There's two of them that I wanted to share with you guys, starting with this one from this brand called Lather. I discovered this brand when I was in Hawaii. I got a facial at the spa, the hotel that I was staying at, and it was a lather spa. They were so sweet and sent me a bunch of products. And this is the Bulgarian Rose Phytonutrient, Pythonutrient, something, Elixir. And it's basically a tonic to soothe and revitalize stressed skin. So whenever you have like redness going on or if your skin just feels stressed out, you just spray a little bit of this baby on. She's a big miss, I will say that. So you spray a little bit out, a little. It was a lot, but it's good stuff, you guys. It literally smells like a spa, and it literally just kind of goes into your pores and just gives your skin like a nice calming feeling, a nice soothing feeling. And this is really awesome if you have redness because it'll just kind of help to balance the pH of your skin. If you want something that isn't so bougie, there's also this Pixie Mist that I really love. This is the Vitamin Wake Up Mist. Nippy, AKA JD Waiting 180, she's the one that turned me on to all of these Pixie Mists. I know that they have quite a few different mists that do different things. I know that they have like a Milky Mist, which is super, super popular. But this one right here is just infused with different vitamins for your skin. So you can just spray her on. This is definitely a finer mist and it'll just give your skin some nice hydration and it also has some really great benefits. You guys know that I love to travel and I love to bring these Tarte Packer bags under eye rescue patches. I literally love to throw these on on the plane. Technically, you're supposed to leave them on for like 10 to 20 minutes. There are these little gel pads that sit underneath your eyes, but there's literally times where I'll throw them on before a flight and then when I land and I wake up, they're literally like all soaked up into my skin, sorry, into my under eye area. And I literally look like I was asleep in a king size bed with like silk sheets for like eight hours. My under eyes are so smooth and just really, really nice and deep puffed. And it really helps with eliminating like the creasing underneath your eye area from like concealer or a setting powder. This is also something that I really, really love to recommend before makeup, especially if you have like an event or like a big day or you're gonna be photographed. I know like under eye areas are a little tough, but this really, really helps to just make everything underneath your eyes look really, really nice and smooth. Another thing that I absolutely love is this KNC Beauty. This is a lip mask. So this is actually infused with collagen. This got really, really popular after Kim Kardashian posted these and was using these. I'm gonna open it. Ooh, little drip drip and you basically take it out and it looks like this. I think it's so cute that it looks like little lips. Ah, the juice is getting everywhere. It says it conditions, moisturizes, plumps, and hydrates the lips. It's all natural, no parabens, no sulfates, no artificial dyes or fragrances, and most importantly, no animal testing. You basically wanna have completely clean, dry lips. Well, not dry, but you know, you know what I mean, clean lips and you leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and you can do this a few times during the week. Again, I think that this is really great if you want like an instant gratification, if you want your lips to just be nice and plump and pillowy and soft, maybe for a hot date, I don't know. It's a little bit harder for me because since I have a beard, it doesn't just kind of like stick to the skin around my lips, so I kind of just have to hold it. All right, so I left it on for about 15 minutes. It does have a little bit of like a tingly sensation, but I think that's just kind of like the collagen doing its magic. And it definitely makes them feel so much softer, so much more plump and just juicy. Like just rubbing my lips together, they just feel so much more pillowy. So this is definitely a great thing to do before makeup. 
especially if you want your lips to look nice and luscious. I know I have big lips to begin with, so you guys are probably wondering, why the hell do you need this? But, I mean, why not? You obviously want to go in with some type of lip conditioner after. I'm going to use the Jouer Lip Enhancer. So I'm going to address this because I know I'm probably going to get questions about this. I get questions about it all the time in my Snapchat. Are my lips real? Are they not? The answer is yes. They are not real. Um, I've had them done a few times. I've always had bigger lips, but I just wanted them to kind of have that natural pout and kind of pillowy look without me having to force it. So I love it. I love them so much. I know that sounds so vain, but <laughs> I do. All right, and the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is one of my absolute favorite masks. I have recently fallen in love with this baby because it is just so amazing to put on overnight, especially if you have something really major happening the next day. And that is this baby right here, the Glam Glow Dream Duo. I think it's such a cool, unique mask because when you open it, it actually is a two-step mask. You start off with this side, which is more of a serum. It's actually called the Dream Serum, which I think is so cute. And it has like a nice pearly opalescent finish. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and you just apply it on your skin. You let it kind of sit for about 30 seconds. Just let it really absorb into the skin. It has a really nice kind of sweet smell. You guys, this serum contains so many ingredients. I'm looking it up right now because I don't want to give you guys any wrong information. But this has like green tea, cucumber, barley, raspberry, pomegranate, wheat, blueberry, cranberry. It just has all of these amazing, amazing ingredients. I think that's probably also why it smells so sweet. That just really helped to give the skin such intense hydration. It really helps to give the skin a really nice glow. After you've let that soak up into the skin, then you go in with the other side, which is kind of like this more gray side. And you're just gonna work her. This is called the Dream Seal. When I tell you guys I'm literally obsessed with this mask, I've turned a lot of people onto this mask because it works just so amazing. Um, like I said, I especially love this before a big event, before just anything that I want to look exceptionally great for. And again, you leave this on overnight and you wake up feeling like a million bucks. Like your skin is literally so plump, so supple. It's radiant, it doesn't feel dry. You know how sometimes you go to sleep and your skin wakes up feeling just like dry and just like not really great? Like you literally wake up feeling like your skin is just so plump and supple. I absolutely love it. The reason why this is my last mask is because after this, I'm gonna go to sleep. I figured it would be the perfect way for me to end this video so that when I wake up in the morning, my skin is just feeling super plump and amazing. If you guys can kind of see, it kind of gives your skin like this automatic like radiance and shine. Obviously that's the product. But once it soaks up into the skin when you wake up in the morning, it's like, Amazing. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed all of my favorite masks and enjoyed watching me put on a lot of them. I hope you guys found this super informative. I definitely, definitely suggest that before you guys purchase any masks that you really do your research, read up on them, reviews, reviews, reviews. I love shopping on Sephora.com because there's tons of reviews. So you can definitely kind of see what other people are saying. I think especially on Sephora.com, people that use them, they always kind of also talk about like the type of skin that they have. So if you're curious about how this is working for other people, definitely check that out. Um, I love all of these masks. I have so many that I use, but these are definitely probably like my nitty gritty ones that I always go to. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys are also following me on Snapchat. Like I said, I do a lot of masking and I talk a lot about skincare and I'm always talking about like, you know, tips and tricks for your skin and for just beauty in general. So make sure you're following me on there. And before you leave, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a thumbs up, rate this video and leave a comment below. Let me know which mask you might be picking up and also let me know which ones you guys love because I'm always looking for new things to try. And yeah, I just wanna chat with you guys. So let's meet in my comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.